Hey there, this is Mario from shockingfit.com and in this video, you're gonna learn how much protein should you eat per day. So there's a lot of studies done on this subject and there's a lot of research being published. So I'm gonna leave all of that in the description below if you guys wanna nerd out, if you wanna go really in depth. But I wanna keep this video short and I just give you a few practical recommendations how you can determine your protein intake when it comes to the fat loss phase, the maintenance phase and the bulking phase. So let's start off with the fat loss phase. So in this phase, Basically, the recommendations are between uh, 1.1 grams per pound of lean body mass to 1.3 grams per pound of lean body mass. The recommendations come from Eric Helms. There's a lot of debate uh, between, him, uh, between him and a couple of other researchers that are mentioning, okay, you don't need that much, you don't need to go that low. But honestly, a little bit extra protein doesn't hurt. So I'm kind of uh, going with that uh, range of 1.1 to 1.3. And I feel like it's uh, beneficial to increase that a little bit uh, to even 1.3 if you're doing a lot of cardio, if you're in a heavy deficit, it, just to prevent also the hunger and all these other factors that could be playing a role. Uh, besides that, on the fat loss phase, I mean, the key to preserving muscle mass obviously is to have that protein as a building block there. But again, the biggest difference will come from how hard you're training, how effective are your workouts. So if you really go super high on protein, which is something I made a mistake in the past, I would just uh, amp up the protein because it helps, uh, I mean, the bro science, you know, it helps with preserving lean body mass. So I would uh, amp that up by like 300 grams of protein per day, eating like 50 egg whites and a couple of protein shakes, also have a half a kilo of cheese and meat. I mean, at that point, uh, there's no benefit whatsoever being recorded above 1.3 gram per pound of lean body mass. There are some studies, but it's all inconclusive. It's not there. there there's no evidence pointing out that there's any benefit whatsoever. So going super high on protein, what it did prevent me in, at that time and what it's going to prevent you if you go super high, it's not going to allow you any calories for, for carbs and fats. And protein is not a very good energy source. The body uh, does... Uh, tap into protein at some point when you're going super lean, uh, lean and you're on, your, on a very low caloric intake. But at that point, still, the carbs and the fats are always gonna be your, your main energy source. So you wanna make sure that you have enough of carbs and enough of fats to maintain a hormone function, to maintain uh, the ability to train really hard and to still progress and preserve muscle mass on a diet. So protein, as I said, 1.1 to 1.3 grams per pound of lean body mass. There's a study in 2013 by Eric Helms, I'm gonna leave that study below, which says protein also scales a little bit with the energy expenditure. So if you're doing cardio, if you're training five, six times a week, you're probably gonna be uh, closer to that 1.3 grams. But if you're just uh, going to the gym three, four times a week, zero cardio and just in a moderate caloric deficit, you don't need more than 1.3 grams per pound of lean body mass. So now that we got the fat loss phase out of the way, and obviously in the fat loss phase, you wanna have a little bit of uh, protein extra, simply because it helps with satiety and helps uh, blunt hunger for most people. But on a maintenance, on a, on a lean gaining phase, or on a bulk, if you're a newbie, you wanna make sure uh, that you just get plenty of protein to be able to build muscle. And that's uh, between that range of 1.83 to like 1.1, should be enough for any experience level to allow you to build enough muscle. If you're someone just starting out, let's say it's your first year in the gym, you're experiencing those newbie gains, I would actually give the body a little bit extra protein, just go to that 1.1 grams per pound of lean body mass, simply because you have that maximum amount of muscle growth potential in the first year. And as I mentioned here, you notice that I'm using lean body mass as a recommendation tool, like how to base your recommendations on. If you're not sure what your lean body mass is, I'm gonna actually leave a body fat chart uh, photo in the description below. So you can click on that. You can actually take your total body mass. You can see, okay, this is a percentage of body fat. And you just uh, divide those two and you get your lean body mass. I mean, approximately, it's never gonna be 100% accurate. Not even DEXAs or all these uh, scanners of body fat are 100% accurate, but it's enough for you to get a ballpark figure on how you can base your protein recommendations on. So once you determine that, as I said, for bulking and maintaining weight, the protein recommendations are to reduce a little bit of intake. So between 0 0.83 to 1.1 grams of, uh, per uh, pound of lean body mass. Once you get there, you have plenty of protein to build muscle. And that's gonna be all for this video. I wanna keep it short and sweet for you guys. 
If you're not sure about something regarding protein intake, and if you have a question, leave it below in the comments. Let's uh, share some ideas and discuss there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click subscribe below on the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.